It's New Birth Thursday! Woo! We're at Great Divide with the founder and owner, Brian Dunn. And uh, how's it going? Great. It's uh, 8.30. It's 8.30. Saturday. It's way too early in the morning. It's JBF. J JBF weekend. The drinking just does not stop. So at 8.30 in the morning, it's like 8.30 at night. You know? Yeah. <laughs> just keep going. But we're going to be drinking, obviously, a lot of Yeti. Like, this is a lot of beer right here at 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> so It's okay. Talk a little bit about what Yeti. But Yeti is a very well-known beer throughout the country because Great Divide, you don't distribute everywhere, but everywhere knows about Yeti. So Good. talk about Yeti a little bit. Um, Yeti's a beer that we came out with probably about eight years ago. Um, it's an imperial stout. It actually started under a different name. We had a name called, it was called Maverick oh, Imperial right. Stout. And uh, we had a little trademark problem. I'm the guy that does the researches, so uh, <laughs> I, I blew it. And um, we were asked not to use it, so we changed it. To, uh, to Yeti. It's a 9.5% Imperial Stout. It's very roasty. It's uh, got eight different malts in it, and it's got a lot of hops. It's about 75 yeah. IBU, so it's uh, not our hoppiest beer, but it's right up there. It's, uh, it's a very good breakfast beer. Yeah, thanks. It's, uh, it's one that works. Um, actually, there's a couple beers that of the Yeti series that are good. Espresso, OK Jetty, is one that we actually have food pairings with yeah, that's breakfast Yeah, that's items. a no-brainer. You could definitely do that with a lot of great breakfast foods. Yeah. So that'd be perfect. You know, yeah. A little coffee. So and um, we started out with Yeti Imperial Stout. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, probably about a year later, maybe a little less, maybe nine months, we decided we're going to start oaking beers. And that was going to be the first beer of choice to oak. And we came out with Oak Age Yeti Imperial Stout. So we oak this beer in the tank with French and American oak chips. All right. Um, brings out a really nice vanilla character, super well melded flavors with uh, the roastiness of the beer. That's what I was going to say. One thing about Yeti compared to so many other of these huge Imperial Stouts, especially even the ones with the chocolate and the coffee, they're always, the flavors really go together well. They're, yeah. Nothing's overwhelming, they're not overly hot, fusel notes, the, uh, and what it, whether it's chocolate or espresso, they just perform very well together. Yeah. Well, Yeti on its own is a pretty assertive beer. Yeah, it's pretty hoppy. It it's a little edgy. What's interesting is when you start oaking these beers, it really kind of kind tones it down a little bit. Yeah. And we use a buzzword. It's the sophisticated sibling. Uh, so the oaked beers are the sophisticated sibling of the regular yes. unoaked version. Right on. Yeah. So now, uh, Great Divide, the, the brewery, you guys have been around for how many years? 16 years. I started it um, in May of 1994. And have you always been in this upscale location? Oh, uh, yeah, it's really <laughs> beautiful here. But we're in a room that actually didn't used to have windows because all these windows were glass block for okay. security reasons. So wow. it's getting better. We were yes. actually <laughs> we're able to have we glass. We're comfortable to, having glass. Yeah, we have glass you can see through now. <laughs> right on. Yeah. So talk a, few, a little bit about some of the other beers that you guys do, because I, I feel like I'm sitting in Michael Phelps' bathroom here. You've got like gold medals everywhere and bronze medals. So clearly you guys know what you're doing. You've you're, you produced some really good beers. Um, what do you think is, uh, besides Yeti, what's your, like, your well, strong suits? Well, Titan IPA is our best-selling beer. Um, it's a pretty hoppy. It's 65 uh, IBU, 7.2% uh, India Pale Ale. Um, that's the workhorse for us. It's the high-volume beer here for us. Um, we're known for balanced beers, but still pretty edgy, a little bit uh, flavor-forward beers. So to me, balance is important. Um, you know, a, another really big beer for us is Hercules Double IPA. Yeah, it's it's super hoppy, it's but it's got a lot of malt to it. And so to me, I think beers need to be balanced, and that's a big thing that I feel really strongly about. Is I I, I like assertive beers, but I like them to be balanced. I know. Yeah, the uh, your double IPA definitely holds up in in the Southern California area. A lot a lot of people are fans of it, even though you do have a nice balancing touch. And actually, something's going to happen next week that's pretty exciting. What is that? We will be starting to sell beer in SoCal through uh, Stone Distributing. Yeah, and we're very very excited about that. So the end of September. Yeah. Yep. So a couple, a couple weeks, but it's going to be really exciting. They're going to be bringing out all kinds of great beer. We'll have a great lineup of beers, and then we'll get all their special releases as they come out. So yeah. you'll start seeing those everywhere. Look forward to it. It occurs to me that we're not drinking beer yet, though. Yeah, no, that's that's yeah. Because Stephen it's thinks we're going to drink all these, but actually yeah. we're just going <laughs> to drink one. I think we're going to drink this one, correct? The chocolate. The chocolate. You do, is what start you with said? the chocolate. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and hide this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can find some of that when you go home. Um, so the beer that uh, Stephen's pouring is chocolate. Okay, Jetty. 
Um, it's one of the Yeti versions that um, it's oat and it's aged on cocoa nibs and a little bit of cayenne. So oh, cayenne. the cocoa nibs are throwing a little bit of chocolate character. The cayenne's not super prevalent. Right. It's there kind of as, it, the, as the flavors are leaving your mouth and there's a little bit of lingering, a little bit of lingering cayenne. So. It, well, it's, it's great as a balance to chocolate. Cho great chocolatiers have known this for decades. A little bit of heat and spice yeah. added in the chocolates just yeah. totally balances. Yeah, really Cheers. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Denver. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Yes. Thanks for waking up this morning. Oh, wow, that's really good. So, you know, that's a pretty hoppy beer, yet it's yeah, it's, I like the way it's got that, some balance. That There's some sweetness. Yeah. That kind of balance is out. It hits your palate on oh, all different good. levels. Yeah. You get the heat on the end and yep. it dries up. You get the big chocolate you, you notes in nice the mid range taste, and hops on the front. Sweet. Yeah. Some of the chocolate stouts that I've had, that they just it's like you're drinking um, oh, yeah. liquid a, chocolate. Liquid chocolate, yeah. and it gets a little bit too much if you don't yeah. get something in there to kind of play with the. Well, there needs the hops to be. To I think a lot of alcohol too to sort of dry yeah. it out. And um, I think if the higher the alcohol level on a beer like this, I think it really helps kind of be part of it. But I'm not getting a lot of heat off the alcohol either, so it seems like you've masked that pretty well. So yeah. it's, it seems well, like you, you know what's like perfect the is the uh, pepper. Yeah actually throws off heat so it, it even if there were Tricks fusel the notes yeah. you're not even picking that up because you're so concentrated yeah. on your palate with the heat from the the chili yeah exactly it's amazing how your palate changes because a lot of times i don't get the heat right very much in the middle while this beer's right. in my mouth i do now sometimes it's just at the end yeah but definitely. it's just interesting how oh yeah to my palate changes all right. the time but right now i'm picking up a lot of cayenne and it's the same beer as it's always been right. but yeah. yeah, it depends. I have a fresh what, palate in the exactly. Day, so. It depends what you've had, what you do. Yeah. I, I always tell people when they're tasting beer, wine, spirits, three sips. We all know that rule, at least the New Brew Thursday guys. Take a sip, swish it around vigorously. Uh, takes care of the cigarette that Brad just had outside, <laughs> the gum Steven stuck under your table a minute ago, uh, the crust toothpaste I used, second sip, pool air. Whoever over he was so whoever so he what was you just learned here is that Brad is a chain smoker, I'm a vandal, and no brushes his teeth. Awesome. <laughs> Pretty bad. Well, yep. overheard, I guess. Overheard. Uh, anyways, and uh, uh, <laughs> second sip, pull air over, open your palate, and then the third sip gives you that true taste, and it really got, I don't even remember. I. I just had a bottle of this six months ago, and I don't remember the the pepper coming out this yeah. much. This well, is you, if you age this, uh, the cayenne pepper would fall out a little bit, right? Mellow down a little bit. And Everything would blend. Actually, it's I interesting. Don't... Pepper, a lot of time, stay is one of the last things to stay. A lot of times, the chocolate melds in with the yeah. heat, but yeah. then I think can... the hops will diminish. I would yeah. guess that we've not had this beer more than a year and a half, so I don't okay. know about um, what's going to happen to the heat on this, but. I would think that the the pepper would stay. Yeah, I agree I too. Guess. We'll open one. I got. I have some of the first bottling runs. Let's so. revisit in a year. Yeah, 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 yeah so. right on. Next GABF. Yeah, yeah. we'll be here. So. Not at eight thirty. Not at eight thirty. Yeah, there, no, certainly not. Because this was <laughs> this was a unique experience to say the least. <laughs> so, but Brian, we really appreciate you taking some time with us. Thanks uh, for coming. I know you guys are really busy this weekend with GABF going on, and so um, if you're if you come to the Denver area, the tap room's awesome. Um, I've been here a couple of times and I love this place. Cool. So, well, yeah. thanks for coming. How many medals do you guys have, Brian? Um, over the 16 years we've been at JBF, 16. So it looks like oh, you excuse do. Me. Yeah, it's it's like like year. <laughs> but that doesn't mean we get one every year. Last year we yes. got three, the year before one. There was one year we got zero. Right. So it, it balances out. We've been skunked, I think, once or twice, right. but we tend to get them, but you never know. Awesome. But right there, brewers right. Back and we're jinxed. Those years, yeah, so. we're now we're jinxed. Yeah. We, we talked <laughs> about the, you know, the awards are going to come out in about six hours so yeah, yeah. we'll keep our fingers crossed so for you. Knows, yeah. and yeti alone has three uh yeti yeah three? yeti has three exactly okay. so and these guys haven't been in oh nine eight and five yeti has uh been in that imperial stout category um okay jetty has never won yeah and uh, some of these other beers are a little bit newer so chocolate okay jetty came out last year so it's only been entered once oh. um and espresso has only been entered once cool wow yeah we'll know more today yeah. Right on. Well, thanks very much, and as always, stay safe and drink Cheers. beer. Cheers. 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 Thanks for coming.